I've been collecting and working with the dead for 23 years is about as far back as I can remember but my parents said I was you know finding dead things on the beach than when I was a kid just running around and uh, it always fascinated me and I started this project the the brick and mortar store two years ago here this is an alpaca a baby alpaca that was born with two brain cases and two two openings two spines but one head this say I put this head something approximately this size it will take about two days, maybe three days for the bugs to clean it all off. We take the animal and we do what's called flensing or flushing. And it's you take the skin off and then you take all the meat off as much as you can. And it comes out to be the skeleton and our beetles eat the flesh away from the bones. And what you come out with is slightly tan colored, little bit stinky from the beetles um, skeleton. It's a hobby I decided one day, hey, this looks really cool, this is fun, I'm going to do this. Uh, there's a lot of people putting together what I would consider high school or amateur work. I'm a perfectionist in my own work and what comes out of my shop. As somebody who's invested their life in it, I, I think it's pretty silly. People should be their own person and find something they do that actually means something to them and not trying to make a quick buck off a, off a new fad. I like making my dolls, which is how I started off in the online business. Like that it's completely silly and very and very funny and, and just they get they all get names and they all get personalities like this is Hella Melita and she likes rockabilly and she's a badass in the pit and punches everybody in the face I like individuals I don't like people as a whole honestly um, people can be rude and mean and stupid and honestly I like my quiet reflection time and, and I can see what's going on. I don't have to deal with anybody else's ideas that don't, that don't match mine or get into fights with family members or I don't ever have to tell anybody, I'm sorry I have to put your dog to sleep because he's not going to get any better. Um, and it's, it's just a whole lot easier dealing with things that don't talk back. <laughs> my mom was a little doubtful that I could, that I could uh, do something with it, but they've been pretty supportive in general. I'm I'm madly in love with the whole thing. <laughs>
below.